boys and girls, welcome to CM Lunch Break. I'm so excited to be here with you today. What? Oh, my hair. Do you like it? I know. Miss Megan is going to be so excited when I come to have my hair done. So you may be wondering why I'm dressed like this. I got to see about 17 of your cute, sweet, handsome little faces on Sunday during our CM Zoom Room, and I'm so excited to do it again this Sunday. Um, but this Sunday, our theme is Hawaiian theme. You see, I have my Toucan Sam, I've got my palm tree, I've got my lei and my pineapple sunglasses. The wig is just for fun. Anyway, I can't wait to spend time with you guys on Sunday morning. We are going to have so much fun, um, and I'll make sure that mom and dad have the link that they need in order to log in. So boys and girls, something really special is happening on Sunday. Do you know what it is? Wait, say it again. Yes, it's Mother's Day. Oh my gosh, it's one of the best days of the year because we get to honor our moms. All this week, we've been having some special devotion time that we can pray for our mom and how we can appreciate our mom. And we talked about some acts of service that you guys can do just to show your mom that you love them and you appreciate everything that, you do, that they do for you. Um, today, we're gonna talk a little bit about some crafts. Some of you may not be able to go shopping and get some crafts for mom. Um, not going to be a church, so we can't do our regular Mother's Day crafts. So I wanted to bring those crafts to you. Are you ready? Awesome. So here's some ideas I have. You can make mom a tin can planter. Hmm. What do you think that is? You're going to take an empty tin can and you're going to paint it in her favorite color. Or you can even take some tissue paper and glue it and make it look kind of like a stained glass window. You can put some dirt in it and put a plant. A really fun plant to make for your mom is going to be a succulent. Dad will know what those are, hopefully. If not, they can go to the garden shop and they can get one. But making mom something they can put in their garden and they can water and they can nurture and they can see it grow over time. It's just what they're doing with your little hearts. They're nurturing and watering. Well, not physically. Well, maybe. I don't know. If you still need help taking a bath, they could squirt you with water still. Anyway, I'm getting off track. But making mom a planter is so cute, such a fun idea. Another idea you can do is you can get either a garden stone or you can find a really big rock and you can paint it and you can write your mom's name on it. You can just write mom on it. Or if you want, if the Lord gives you a scripture or gives you a word for your mom, maybe spend some time in your special place in the garden or in your backyard or wherever you have your special place, sit and see what the Lord wants you to say to your mom on Mother's Day and write it on that rock. That way she can put it in the garden and anytime she's out there or maybe she goes out and she's gardening and she gets to look at the rock and just gets a really sweet reminder of how much God loves her. You can make a pipe cleaner bouquet of flowers. You can make a fingerprint heart. Sometimes you put those in a card, but moms always love personalized stuff. We've got something fun you can make. I had someone make this for me. How cute is this? It's a piece of cardboard that was cut out in the shape of the first initial of my name, and then you wrap it in colorful yarn. This is something mom can put on her dresser. Maybe she keeps it in her car. Anywhere mom wants just something special to remind you that you're thinking of her, not just today, but every day of the year. Another thing you can do is you can take some craft sticks like this and you can do a couple things with this. You can glue them together, you can put them in any color order that you want, doesn't have to necessarily be in rainbow, but you can take what we call a binder clip and glue the binder clip on and mom can use this for notes that she's reminding herself of. If you don't want to use a binder clip, you can glue a picture or a drawing or a saying that you wrote out for mom on here. But this is something that she can keep close to. You know what else this could be? If you lay it on a table, it could actually be a coaster for mom's drink. That's kind of cool. I just thought of that. Something else you can do, boys and girls, is you can do an anagram card. You guys know what an anagram is? That is when you take the first letters of either your mom's name or you can even use mom or mommy and you make up a word that matches that letter. So in Miss Juju's card, it says, I did mommy on one side and it says M is marvelous. O 
is outrageous. M is magnificent. Another M is merry. And Y is youthful. Those are all words that remind you of your mom. Or if you take the letters of her name like I did with mine, J stands for joyful, U is unique, L is lovable, I is intelligent, yeah I am, and E is enjoyable. These are just fun things you can do and then of course you have the card that you would just open up and write a special message for your mom. Those are fun things for you to do. And the last thing that I have, oh this is probably one of my favorites, it's a tissue paper flower pot. So if you get a small flower pot, they usually are that orangey material, and you take some tissue paper, all you're gonna do, I wish I had one so I could show you, they're so fun to make. If you rip different pieces of the tissue paper and you glue them all around the flower pot and you let them dry, it becomes a super colorful flower pot that they put in their garden. So many ideas, and there are so many more. These are just some that I came up with to share with you. What I really love though, boys and girls, is for you to love on your moms on Sunday. They love you so much. They work so hard for you. They work tirelessly for you to provide you a good life, to care for you, and you know what? Although we should love and appreciate them every day, especially on Mother's Day, we should give them extra love and extra attention. Your mom shouldn't have to cook breakfast, lunch, dinner you shouldn't ask her what you guys are having for snack you guys should be going to mom and saying mom what do you want for breakfast what do you want for lunch and dinner hey mom are you thirsty can i get you a drink you should spoil your mom on sunday and boys and girls i would love to see pictures of homemade presents or even presents that dad took you out to buy for mom. I would love to share in that Mother's Day celebration with you. So if you want your moms, your dads, they can send me a message, either email at cm at rockandroseville.com or if they have my phone number, they can definitely text me, but I would love to share in the Mother's Day celebration. So boys and girls, that's it for today, but I am so looking forward to seeing your cute, handsome, funny, silly little faces and your clever costumes that you're going to come that represents Hawaii. We'll see you on Sunday. Bye!